another Keeping Them Honest report tonight. This one from Capitol Hill involves one of the most powerful Democratic congressmen who today walked out of his own ethics trial. Congressman Charlie Rangel is accused of 13 ethics violations, as you probably know. They're laid out in 108 pages that were released in July by the House Committee on Standards of Official Conduct Investigative Subcommittee. The charges, including uh, failing to pay taxes on this home in the Dominican Republic, misuse of a Harlem rent control department as a political office, and improper use of letterhead and use of government mail service. Now, the charges follow a nearly two-year investigation that involved the sworn testimony of nearly 50 witnesses over 28,000 pages of documents. Now, since day one, Congressman Rangel has deflected blame and officially made excuses. Take a look. Nobody that can read is going to bring any charges against me. I plead guilty of not being sensitive. These wild allegations. Just because a report of the New York Times has a problem with me, there has to be a penalty for grabbing the wrong stationery. Unfair and inaccurate reports in the press. Uh, every time I thought I was getting through, they started talking Spanish. It's in the minds of some reporters who are looking for a Pulitzer Prize out of this. I have not been able to explain my position ever. I guess it's all selling papers. So now with the, his ethics trial underway, there's a new excuse. Mr. Rangel says he doesn't have a lawyer. Mr. Rangel says he's already spent roughly $2 million on campaign funds on a high-priced legal team, but when they suggested it might cost another million, and he says he couldn't pay it, he says they quit. That was more than a month ago. Today, he said he needs more time. Madam Chair, all I'm asking for is the time to get counsel. I have lawyers from Washington, D.C. and New York are willing to give me free counsel to be able to come here because they don't think I've been treated fairly, and yet... They say that if they do that, it's a gift and violates all of the laws. Well, he's right about that. It would be a violation of ethics rules for him to accept free legal advice. But he has had plenty of time to begin a legal defense fund. Mr. Rangel insisted today he's being denied due process. I am being denied the right to have a lawyer right now because I don't have the opportunity to have a legal defense fund set up. And because I can't afford another million dollars. You may hire whoever you wish uh, as a lawyer. That is up to you. So listen to what Mr. Rangel said there. He said he didn't have the opportunity to have a legal defense fund set up. But that's not true. Mr. Rangel has had plenty of time and opportunity to set up a legal defense fund. How come he hasn't? Well, Mr. Rangel says he just recently found out it was an option, implying he didn't know he could start a legal defense fund before that. Keeping him honest. That is hard to believe. I mean, it's not like he's never heard of the idea. We all know of politicians who've set up legal defense funds. Mr. Rangel has known, himself has known plenty of politicians with legal defense funds. Longtime political tradition. Bill Clinton had one. Sarah Palin had one. Even Congresswoman Maxine Waters has one right now. She's facing an ethics trial this month, too. She just started her legal defense fund back around Labor Day. Hard to believe that no one on Mr. Rangel's crack legal or political team ever suggested a legal defense fund be created sometime in the last two years. It's hard to believe that Mr. Rangel himself never thought about it in the entire two years he was being investigated. By the way, that wasn't the only excuse Charlie Rangel gave today. He also says that the agenda at this hearing, a hearing he's known about for weeks, came as a big surprise. That seemed to come as a big surprise to the prosecutor, who said that Mr. Rangel had been kept in the loop every step of the way and that changes had even been made to accommodate some of his objections. Throughout the course of preparation in recent days, uh, we've entered into, uh, well, witnesses have offered affidavits. The respondent was given notice of those. He was provided copies. And in fact, in at least one of these insta instances, suggested changes to the language which we negotiated and which we agreed to. That guy is a Blake Chisholm. That's his name. He's the chief counsel for the committee. Now, before he got a chance to share that, Congressman Rangel had already walked out of the ethics trial. Take a look. Here's the exit. Congressman Rangel, always a politician, while leaving his own trial, watch this, he makes sure to give committee members handshakes. Trial went on today without him.